DJ here with the Chief Peak, and this is a resistance band back and bicep or pull workout. For this workout, we're going to be doing nine exercises in total, and we're going to do them one at a time. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we will then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this workout, Hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get your free workout routine at AchievePeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going into is seated reverse grip rows. So let's grab our bands, drop down on to the ground. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the bands, wrap them completely around one or both feet. From here, we're gonna sit nice and tall, uh, palms facing towards the ceiling, dragging our hands along our legs up to the hips. There we go. So keeping those hands nice and low. They shouldn't be coming way up here like that. They should be nice and low. Palms up, elbows nice and close to the body, never flaring out. Again, Dragging the hands, almost the knuckles across the thighs, from the knee, up the thighs, to the hips, keeping it nice and low. Come back, squeeze. Make sure that you're nice and tall. When you come back, if you want, you kind of lean back a little bit. Just focus on squeezing that back. Squeeze the back. Let's get one more. There we go. Set one is done. Going into set two. Make sure that you have this completely wrapped around your foot. So no matter which way you pull it, it cannot come off your foot. Here we go, a couple seconds. Set two. Pull it back, squeeze. Pull it back, squeeze. Nice and tall. Chest out, head up. What happens is if you start to look down, your back wants to bend. That's why I kind of try to... Say, look up. There we go. Squeeze. Focus on that contraction all the way up, all the way up. You should be choking up on the bands. I'm kind of holding where uh, it says the weight or where the cloth meets the uh, rubber. Whatever that might be. Whatever material that might be. I have no idea. Here we go, set three. I don't think I'm gonna choke up just a little more. Just hold on to the bands only. Let's go. Five seconds till we get started. Remember to have your palms facing up. There we go. Come back, squeeze. Come back, squeeze. There we go. Feeling good. Keep that back nice and straight. Hands nice and low. Let's go. There we go. Come on. Let's get two more. Last one. Get the squeeze. There we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into shrugs. Get some water if you need it. So for shrugs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bands under both feet. You're gonna wanna spread your feet out. We are gonna hold on to the handles here. Spread your feet out nice and wide, eat up a bunch of that band. That way we only have like less than a foot of band on each side of our foot. From here, we're gonna stand nice and tall, head up again, shrugging, bringing the shoulders up to the ears, not your head down. We don't want to strain our neck, so keep that head up nice and tall. Here we go. Shoulders up, down. Shrug, down. There we go. Let's go. If you don't want to do these, then what you could do is a W raise instead. A W raise, so you're just gonna have a band under one foot, and then you're gonna come up, make a W, keep your elbows nice and low, you don't want them super high. You start here, 
come up, go like that. Here we go. Going to set two shrugs. I know a lot of you, or some of you, not a lot, some, don't like shrugs. Or anything that works your traps. Even though it's a monster part of your back. Here we go. Set two. Let's go. Shrug. Shrug. Come on. Let's go. Nah. Embrace the burn. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. Shrug. Let's get one more. There we go. Going into set three here. Woo, felt the burn on that one. 10 seconds left. Make sure that you're standing nice and straight when you're doing these as well. Here we go. Nice and tall. We don't want to be leaning forward like this. Again, bringing the shoulders up, not the head down. We don't want to be doing that. We're going to stay up here. There we go. Work the traps. Squeeze. Squeeze. Make sure you're not slouching. Keep that back nice and straight. Let's go. Come on. Last one. There we go. All right. 40 second break and then we're going into bent over rows. So for the bent over rows, what we're going to do is our first one, we are going to do a double arm row. And then after that, we will switch to single arms. If you want to do a double arm the entire time, that is totally fine. What you could do is just do seated rows. That way it's a little easier on your back. So here we go. So uh, bent over rows, bending at the hips and knees. Keeping that back nice and straight, pulling it up. Hands are facing the legs the entire time here. There we go. So for these, I like to kind of keep my head at about a neutral position, not super pulled up and definitely not down. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it up. Squeeze. Come down. Here we go. Alright, so next we're going to go into a single arm row. So for here, I'm going to put my right leg forward. Step on the band with my right foot, grab it with my left, rest my right hand on the palm or on my knee. And then from here, I can do my row, choking way up on the band. So even down here, the band is still nice and tight. And then I'm gonna row, row, row. So if you're doing singles, you should be increasing the resistance. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go. Come on. We got one more in this. Here we go. So I'm going to grab where it was on the inside of my foot. Switch sides here. There we go. So now I know I have the same resistance for each arm. Woo! I got the sweat going. Here we go. Bring it up. Squeeze. All the way down. All the way up. That full squeeze. Let's go. Come on. 
Ah, here we go. Ah, keep pushing. Ah, push it out. Ah, come on. A couple reps. Ah, one more. Ah, here we go. All right. We got a 40 second break and then we're going into face pulls. You can do your face pulls uh, bent over or seated. I'm going to do mine seated. So grab your band. Wrap the band completely around your foot. Do not skip this all the way around the top, all the way around the bottom. It's very important. From here, we're going to sit nice and tall. <clears throat> Have the band out. We're going to bring them up to about our chin. You're getting that external rotation. Your wrist is going to bend. Here we go. Bringing it up. Come down. Bringing it up. Come down. As you can see, my hands kind of stay close. They're not way out here like a wide row. It is, and I'm getting the external rotation. Squeeze the back. Squeeze the back. Let's go. Last one. Woo! Those burn every single time. Again, if you want to do these standing, that's totally fine. Just make sure to have your back nice and straight while you're doing them. Here we go, a couple seconds, set two, face pulls. Hands up, squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. Come on. You should be choking up on these. You should not be holding on to the handles. If you're holding on to the handles, that means when you're down here, there's no tension anymore. We want to keep tension to the full range of motion. A couple more. One more. Let's go. Woo! There we go. Also, while you're doing these, make sure not to strain your head. Don't pull your head forward. Keep your head nice and back. Five seconds till we get started. Set three, face pulls. Here we go. Bring it up. Oh yeah, that's the burn. Woo, come on. Staying nice and tall, keeping that back nice and straight. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Come on, two more. That's one, two. Ah. Woo. Those burn every single time. All right, we got a 40 second break. We're going in into split stance curls. This is one of my favorite new exercises we got. So, Split stance curls, we're gonna grab our bands. Or band. We're gonna step on it, and then you can kind of step through. The band that your foot is, uh, or the foot that your band is under should be back. As you can see, I got a nice split stance here. From here, we're going to perform our curl. You can wrap the band around your foot, which I think actually I'm gonna do real quick. So wrapping it around your foot means there's more tension on the band. So when you're down here, as you can see, the bands are still nice and tight. Here we go. Plus it's a little safer. Come on. Bring it up. Squeeze. We always want uh, resistance the entire range of motion. We don't want to get down here and the bands look like this. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let's get a couple more. 
Last one. There we go. Feeling good. If you want, you can uh, switch legs. I'm not going to do that. I'm making sure that my band is nice and even. Felt a little off. I think it still might be. Whatever. I'm just going to get a little extra work. My bicep's going to get a little stronger today. It's all right. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on. When you come up, squeeze. Let's go. Brace to burn. Come on. Keep those elbows nice and close to the body. Let's go. Come on. Bring it up. Squeeze. There we go. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Make a little adjustment on these. There we go. 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's get ready. Last set. Curl it up. Come down. Curl it up. Come down. Woo! Come on! Squeeze. Focus on your biceps when you're doing this. Tell them. Grow, biceps. Grow. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Let's get two more. That's one. Last one, squeeze. Ah, there we go. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. 40 second break, and then we're going into dead rows. D E A D rows. So it's like a deadlift and a row combined for a whole lot of serious fun. So we're gonna step on the bands. Make sure to choke up. As you can see, I'm not holding on to the handles here. What we're going to do is we're going to stand up, drop down. Hold on. Here we go. Drop down into a row position or a deadlift position, I should say. So we're going to drop down here, come up, row. Drop down, come up, oop, row, not shrug. Here we go. Boom. Boom, so deadlift is like this. So we're coming up out of that, and then we're rowing. Boom, we're keeping a slight bend. Well, our back's gonna be straight, but we're gonna be slightly bent over. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Drop down, up, squeeze. Come on. Woo! Those are something else. Here we go. Set two. Come on. So get down in the row or the deadlift. Come up. Row. Come up. Row. Keep that head up. Back nice and straight. Weight in your heels. Boom. Come on. Burn that back up. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on. One more. Woo! Those are absolutely something else. We're going to be about 10 seconds going into set three here. Come on. Let's get ready. Burn it up. Come on. So drop down to the dead. Come up. Roll. Come up. Roll. Boom. Boom. Down. Up. Down, up, let's go, boom, 
Come on. Woo! Embrace the burn. Ten seconds. One more. There we go. 40 second break. We're going in to hammer curls. So, for hammer curls, we're going to grab our band, step on it with one or both feet, get it nice and even. From here what I like to do is, my handle's like this, I like to turn it like that, and then grab a hold of it. So the handles are like this, and then from here, palms facing each other, we're going to go like that. Just like... We're hammering a nail. So the palms stay facing each other the entire time. We're getting no supination here. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Sometimes it may help if you kind of lean just a little forward at the hips, not bending your lower back though. One more. Let's go. Feeling good. Keep pushing. Keep chasing that pump. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze. Focus on the biceps. Squeeze. Squeeze the biceps. Squeeze. Come on. Burn it up. Let's go. Biceps are on fire. We're just going to keep going. Let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. Woo! That's how we push it right there. That's how we push it. Going to set three hammer curls. Hammer time. Sorry. Always reminds me of that song. Here we go. Let's go. Bring it up. Squeeze. Bring it up. Squeeze. Try to get a little hold up top on each one. Squeeze in the biceps. Ah, there we go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Last one. Bring it up, squeeze. Ah. Woo! There we go. Turn those handles back right. Oh, there we go. All right, 40 second break. We're going into good mornings. So when you're doing good mornings, do not use heavy weight, especially if this is your first time doing this. Use light resistance and then build up. And by build up, I mean the next time you perform this workout, not this time, because you will, you will feel it later today. So bring the uh, bands up. I'll do it like this. And then we're going to bend at the lower back. Come up nice and slow. Here we go. So slight bend in the knees. Coming down at the lower back. Coming up. We're not coming down and then trying to jerk up as fast as we can. We're going down nice and slow. Good controlled movements here. I'm back. If you want, you can also, instead of holding them back there, you can hold them in front of you like this. Just like that. Like I said, good controlled movement here. 
I'm trying to slowly strengthen the lower back. One more. There we go. Going to the set two of good mornings. Here we go. Let's go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Once you know what your back can handle, then you can increase the resistance. Let me tighten that one up. And down. Feel that back stretch out and then stand up. Good controlled movements here. There we go. 15 seconds left. There we go. Exhaling as you come up. Inhaling as you go down. There we go. Going into set three. I know this kind of feels like an easy exercise, but it is fantastic for you. All those rows that we do, squats, everything, all involve that lower back. So this is our time to strengthen it. We just want to do it cautiously. Here we go. Nice and slow. Focusing on that lower back. We're not doing an RDL here. We are bending at the lower back. This is one of the very few times that I will say that. I have a slight bend in the knees. Come down as far as you can. Come back up. There we go. 10 seconds left. There we go. Get this last one. There we go. All right, so next we're going into concentration curls after this 40 second break. So, what we can do is the first two sets we'll do one arm and then the other for the third set is where it's going to get a little tricky so what i like to do is step on the bands hold them like this and then you can just pretty much drop the bands this time keep your feet here then what you can do is do your concentration curl like this halfway through stop grab the other one and boom now we can quick switch if you will so here we go set one Pick an arm, doesn't matter which. Bring it up, squeeze. So I'm holding on to that cloth again, right at the band. Trying not to let the band really hit the webbing in between my index finger and my thumb so it doesn't aggravate it. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on, bring it up, squeeze. So the band should be under the opposite foot that you're um, curling with the arm. So I'm curling my left arm using the band that's under my right foot right now. If you want to keep curling, you can. Go into the working time, 10 seconds maybe. 10 seconds, we're switching arms. Here we go. Go to the other side. Switching sides here. Let's go. Bring it up. Squeeze. Bring it up, squeeze. And again, we're choking up. As you can see, I have tension. Look at how tight that thing is. Even when I'm in the bottom end of this movement, it's still tense. Let's go. Come on, squeeze. If you're not a fan of these, you could do an alternating close curl. So stand up and then you're just gonna alternate bringing uh, doing the curls and then they're gonna come across your body Let's get one more So if you're not a fan of the concentration curls, you're gonna stand feet shoulder width apart and you're gonna curl alternately Bringing it across your body like this just like that Here we go, so this time we're gonna do both we're gonna switch at 20 seconds. So I'm gonna start with my left here we go. Bring it up. Squeeze. I'll tell you when to switch. Focus on those biceps. Squeeze the bicep. Come on. Squeeze the bicep. Let's go. 
Come up. Switch. What did that take us? Under two seconds? A second maybe to switch? Come on. Squeeze the bicep. Squeeze. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Workout is done. Resistance band, back and biceps crushed. Let me know what you uh, thought of the dead rows. I'm interested. Jen, I don't know if she loves them, hates them. I think she just hates them. It's certainly not a love hate. But let me know what you think. I want to know. All right. Good workout today. If you like this workout, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And be sure to get your free workout routine at AchievePeak.com. See you guys.